This is your basic Fender Frontman with a hum when I turn it on. But when I plug in a guitar and play it, the hum goes away. So here is the hum we have. There it is. And I'm about to replace these deals right here. That one may be a little loose. But uh, I've already replaced these deals. Supposedly all of it overheats, and you really should be attaching them back to the back of the chassis and wiring them into the board so they don't cause everything to overheat and blow up um, on these fender frontmen. But anyway, I'm going to attach these three to the board, the three new ones, and we'll see if that hum goes away. Well, we're back we're back at the Fender Frontman 212. So I replaced all these resistors um, and that did not solve the humming problem. Then I did some internet sleuthing and found a message stream on the, on the Google that said if you put a 220K resistor off of this back leg a 220 yeah 220k resistor off the back leg here of this q7 um transistor and put it on the front or the right leg of this d18 um whatever that is cathode something or other um it will make the hum go away when nothing is either plugged into any of the input jacks or the power jack or the effects return, whatever you want to call that. They call it power in on this thing. But um, what was happening, which should be obvious from the earlier video that I'm going to attach to this, is it was humming big time. And so I'm going to turn this on, having wired in underneath the board a... 220k resistor and we're going to see if we get that same hum with nothing plugged in on the front so here we go it could explode and it's quietish it's running through a little an old pv amp but anyway so there i'm turning it up but it's it's basically putting out um, just kind of a white noise kind of thing now. So that fix did work. So 220K resistor to the right leg of this transistor and to the right side of this D18 um, cathode anode thingamajigger. Um, anyway, and so this all appears to be working. So I'm going to put it back together and put it back in its case and we'll see how it sounds. Well, we got the amp all back together, and when I flip it on through the speakers, there is no hum. And I happen to have a pedal that switches channels on it that works for it. I don't know if the pedal was made for it or not, but it's a Fender pedal. So um, you can plug in guitar and see what it sounds like. And it uh, seems to be... And uh, this is the uh, drive channel. And then you can click it over to more drive. Anyway, it's a pretty loud amp. So uh, the resistor did the trick and keeps it quiet. And uh, we'll see how long it lasts. Well, here we have it all back together and plugged in. I happen to have a pedal for it that I had laying around, which actually works and changes the channels and stuff. And so it's not making any noise 
And then, uh, you know, when I plug in the guitar, which you do this here, um, and then, um, so the amp seems to work pretty good and my pedal works because I can change the channels and So we got a working amp.